Welcome to September. Here's your psychic tarot reading for the month. This month, this is what we will go over. We will cover your current self, the month's theme, you at the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the key goal to achieve, how to do it, obstacles to overcome, how to do it, good news, what to avoid, your spirituality modality of focus this month to help you get through it. And then I wanted to let you know that um, when I polled people on Instagram and on Facebook, they all said what they really wanted to focus on this month was money and career. So I will be putting that in a separate set of videos for you this month um, to this YouTube channel and hit the little bell notification so that when those come out, you are immediately aware and alerted in case you like these. I would also appreciate it if you would share these videos with people that you think would find helpful um, because otherwise, how are they gonna find them, right? And here's something new that we're doing this month. If you are to go ahead and share this video on Facebook or Instagram, please go ahead and tag me because this month I'm giving away a zodiac sign necklace, which obviously it would be the one. If you're a Pisces, that'd be the one that you want to share, right? In this picture, this is an example of the different Pisces necklaces that would be going out, but I have them for every single sign. Um, those would be shipped out halfway through the month, so make sure that you tag me in it. Um, because if you don't, I can't see the post, and then I can't DM you for your shipping address. So I'll be giving away one for each one of these signs. Uh, let's get started. Hey Scorpio, welcome to September. Your current self in the month of September. They're saying, you are fair, you are balanced, you're acting like a Libra, which doesn't surprise me because in the Scorpio career and money video, which you can click on at the end of this video, um, they were like, hey, go check out the Libra one because it's very, very similar. So if you have Scorpio and Libra in your chart, this will be very, very important for you. Um, but very balanced, okay? Now, the theme for the month for Scorpios, action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. I love that. So it's kind of like sharing your uniqueness. You know, don't be afraid of being weird because that's what makes you special. Um, I mean, literally Weird Al is like nothing until he expressed his weirdness, right? And I went to a Weird Al concert this month and it was packed. It was freezing outside, but it was packed and the crowd was going wild. So embrace your weirdness and share it with the world. It's kind of a gift. Um, you at the beginning of the month, they're saying not enough self-care. You're not spoiling yourself enough, caring for yourself enough. In the middle of the month, that's going to make you feel depressed as fuck. Um, so <laughs> being a very deep feeling sign, when you slip into depression, it's not slight, right? Like it's like bottom of the barrel, like depths of hell kind of shit. So let's avoid that by taking care of ourselves, doing some good self-care, spoiling ourselves a little bit in the beginning of the month. In the end of the month, they're like, here's where shit moves forward. Yay! And going from the new moon in the beginning to, again, the one at the end of September, um, like actually... It's like a new moon, Mercury retrograde, Halloween, all at once kind of stuff. Happy birthday, Lori, my favorite Scorpio. Um, anyway, what, what they're saying there is that's when big change is set in. And it's like change in a positive direction, helping you to get the things that you want. Okay. So your key goal to achieve in the month of September is to feel very... Um, much like you got your shit together, super organized, independent, um, having your ducks all in a row, but like also doing this not just to say like, oh, they're saying, okay, Scorpio, you're pretty good at that a lot of the time, but they're saying this is not like the form of self-care that we're talking about. Sure, you know, getting things clean and organized and like, Having everything together makes us feel good because a decluttered space is a decluttered mind, um, which naturally makes us feel better. But they're like, that's not the self-care that we're talking about, girlfriend and boyfriend. Um, they're saying, but making sure that like our long-term goals and plans, like that we have those in our mind and we start making baby steps towards those. So it's not like, hey, 
um, go and speak to a financial advisor and start putting away, you know, hundreds of dollars a month for your um, retirement. But it's like I could open an Acorns account and like get like, you know, five dollars going a month because that's better than zero dollars going a month kind of a thing. Um, Obstacles. Whoa. They're like speaking of money, though, like for real, let's think about our long term plan with that. Um, okay. Obstacles to overcome. They're like that depressive energy that I talked about. So how are you going to do that? And they're like, slowly but surely doing something little for yourself every day, understanding that things are going to happen that we have no control over, but though we do get to control to a certain degree, how we feel about things. Right? So I don't get to control if some bitch steals my wallet. Okay. But I do get to control my reaction to it. So I can be like, well, I can always get a new one. I can always make more money. Um, Hopefully that money in there is going to feed a child that was maybe going to go hungry, right? I mean, it's kind of taking lemons and turning them into lemonade, which is fucking delicious. They're like, this is what's going to make you feel more safe and secure. But it's a choice that we have to make because it's very easy to make the opposite choice and then go down into this negativity spiral this month. It's like the vibe is just right for it. And I tell you what, um, I was real pumped up. Personally, I'm, I'm a Scorpio moon. So I was really, really excited because my rising sign is Virgo. And I was like, hell yeah. Virgo season, Virgo new moon, like, I'm going to be productive as fuck, I'm going to be getting shit done, no, hell no, it's shitty, yeah, and I'm feeling the Scorpio moon energy already, I've been feeling sick and tired and lethargic and just bummed out for no reason, because I'm telling myself everything is perfect, like, my life is pretty great, um, but it doesn't seem to really help, so I feel you, feel you, boo, they're like, here's the deal, though, If um, we focus on what's going wrong, we're just going to feel worse. So do your best. I'm not saying it's going to be a shitty month, okay? But they're like, it can feel that way for some of you, but um, you've got to make the conscious choice to make sure it doesn't. Now, the good news this month is that, um, like, nobody is going to tell you anything. Like, nobody has, like, bad shit to say to you. And if they do, they're not going to say it to your face and it's not going to get back to you. So it's like it never happened. Um, What you should be avoiding this month. And they're, like, thinking about kind of what I just said. Like, don't obsess over the fact that people might say shit about you because they're really, really not. They're like, everything is safe and secure. Um, You really do need to... Be focused on the fact that things are actually pretty okay. If you're not dead, you have a 100% success rate of surviving everything you've ever gone through. Okay? Now, your your spirituality um, modality of focus, if you want to kind of go deeper into this and really work on stuff, maximize your potential for the month, and they're saying palmistry. So, If you don't know how to read palms, maybe you could look that up on YouTube. Maybe you could get a book on it. Maybe you could go have your palms read by um, your local palm reader. Would it be a palmist? No, it would be a palm reader. Anyway, um, love you so much, and I'll see you in October. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.